What's up my cyber friends? My name is Raymond Kibibo and today it's another Cyber Thursdays Which means it's updating Q&A day Woo! Right Updates So we'll do the updates first Right That is way too much singing for comfort Yeah but let's just continue Um So it is Wednesday when I record this But it will be Thursday when I upload this. So, in that case of future people, yesterday was my good friend and my awesomest I call internet brother. It was Dark Light Dreamer's birthday yesterday. And I would like to wish him a lovely Q&A video. Happy birthday. I would sing it to you, yeah, but I, I would crack the windows. But... Happy birthday, my awesome persons! You get an extra shout out today because I do my shout outs at the end of the videos. Video. Yes! That, so go to Darklight Dreamer's channel, link in the description below! And go tell them, I said, go tell them yeah, that you guys had said happy birthdays because birthdays are awesome! You're one year older! Ugh. I feel so old now. But anyways, so happy birthday, Dark Light Dreamer. Keep on the good work and keep on the videos. And I I am actually gonna do the drinking challenge. So if you if any of you is if you receive weird messages, I'm sorry. Anyways. Moving on to the next update. Um very recently, well I mean very recently, I think like five minutes ago. Um as you can tell my hair was um I wear the colour. Uh, what do I mean wear the colour? I mean it's silver. Now I've been wanting this silver for a long time, like a long time, like a ridiculous amount of time. Like um, I'd say five years, maybe a little bit longer than that. Yeah, about five years. No, four years. Why did I stuck in my hair? Ah, you you get the gist. But I've been wanting silver hair for a long time, and due to the fact my hair's very, very dark, it's very hard to achieve it. So, and with the previous toners I have used, they haven't really worked out to my advantage. But it's worked, as you can see. It's, it has like silver with a purple tinge. So, hair update. Woo! Um. Also in the update category, um, I have an, I have a few more new projects for you. Um, I'm gonna be go hopefully in the near future of videos. Uh, yeah, hopefully in the near future of videos, I'll be actually. I know I said this in a, in a previous video, if you guys remember, that um, I wasn't gonna do doll repaint as in doll repaint videos. I gave in. I'm going to be starting to do Dolly Pain videos. I'm not going to tell you what, what it is. Because. Surprises! So I have a couple more projects. And I'm going to be adding a new segment to my channel. Which is called. Uh, it has to, it's going to have the initials of TNT. So if you get a, if you get a video on your subscription box. If you. Um, click that bell, it's very useful. Um, so if you click down on the bell, you'll be notified of every video I upload. So if you weirdly see a AM um, video that says TNT from me, I was obviously I will put in the title once I record the videos. I think it was uh, Tuesday's, Tuesday's New Tips, I think it was, but if not. Uh, I'm, uh, but I'm gonna be adding a new segment, and it will be three videos a week. So hopefully I can keep up with that, because I know last week that I I only uploaded one year before the second episode of Q and A. So it's gonna be Tuesday. Yeah, it's gonna be Tuesdays are gonna be you know tips, tutorials on like how to do this and how to do that. I'll start off with the basics first. And then on Wednesday it will be an overview, and then on Thursday, as you know, it's a Cyber Thursday, so it will be Q&As. So, look forward to that. And I'm also going to be doing doll, again, doll repaints as recordings as well, once I get my camcorder and my tripod. Look forward to those. So, 
I don't think there's any more updates. Is there any more updates? I don't think so. So, let me shut up and let's get right into your questions and I will give you my answers. So, the first question that I'm actually going to be doing is I'm actually going to be doing a question that Kucha Hira asked on his Hira Hobby Sunday. And I, I, I know I could easily tell him because he's like right in front of me, but I'll just answer it anyway. Because, question. So, Kucha Hira's Hira, Hira Hobby Sunday question was, what are your thoughts on commission painting? I like commission painting. I would rather prefer to do it for free. But if I could get some moolah out of that, that's good too. I like doing commission painting, I just would rather do them with people I know and I know that I can trust as opposed to someone stranger and that's probably the whole opposite of point of, sorry, um, opposite point of a commission but I do like doing commissioning. It's just a very rare occasion I do them. So that is an answer to your question. I know it was a very quick answer but I don't really have anything more to talk about commissioning. Um, apart from, actually, apart from this, if you're going to do commissioning, have a little respect and actually do the commissioning. If there's something that is going to pull you behind, let that person know instead of just leaving them in the dark or actually potentially stealing their models. You know, they pay good money for your, they pay good money yeah, for the work that, for your work. So at least give them the same respect back and offer your service and actually give them something back here for them actually helping you out. So have some respect for commissioners. They take a lot of time doing these stuff, doing these type of things for you when you request them. So commissioners, give the client some respect. They will give you respect. Okay, so if again, if a if a if a if a client pays you for your services, at least do that service. But anyway, that's all I have to say on that. Make sure you do listen to my words because commissioning is a very risky thing to do, but it's a good thing. So let's move on to the next. Questioner, which is this question comes from Nilly, uh, Nilly, I am so sorry, Lily Nightfall, and her question was: Are there any video games that you and Kuja play together, or do you each play solo? It's kind of a both, really. We you know um, the video games me and Mark normally play together are stuff like Borderlands and. Borderlands and Terraria and games such as that we used to play Black Ops 2 but it just kind of got a little boring but yeah we 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 um we play a, we play a, a good amount of games together um but normally since Mark a mo mostly a console player and I'm normally a PC gamer it's very hard to find games that me and Mark both like so there was a PC game called Dawn of War. I don't particularly, I'm not in particularly digging it. Or I want to play something like Minecraft, and he's not really digging it. Um, so I know, so about I would say 60% of the time, me and Mark play solo. But we do play games together, and it's very fun because then I can actually throw my controller at him when because I'm a sore loser. <laughs> I'm kidding. I throw my controller at the wall, not him. So, I'm a very big sore loser, and I'm not afraid to admit that. So, yeah, so about, again, 60% of the time we play solo, and the rest of the time we do play together. So, thank you for your question, Lily. I appreciate it. Um, Illich Bear 40 k yeah, asks, Great video, thanks for asking my question. Thanks, uh, thanks for... <laughs> I can speak today, I promise. Uh, great video. Thanks for answering my question. You're very welcome, Nick. I like answering questions, if you haven't noticed. Uh, very interesting. What is the most romantic thing Hyra has done for you? There's a lot of romantic things here that um, Mark has done for me. 
Uh, well, excuse me, Kuja has done for me. Um, my actually, Kuja, a while ago when we first started dating, uh, Kuja had um like big pile of just rose petals, nothing else, just rose petals. And um, I was having a bad day, you know, everything was just stressing me out, and so Mark ran me a bath and whatnot, and I was relaxing or whatnot. And um, so I went to go out, came out of the bath, and realized there's petals, you know, going, leading somewhere. So I get myself dry, get myself dressed. And I follow the petals into the living room, and then all of a sudden I see I love you written in petals on the floor. And then he turns around me and goes, do you want to watch a movie with me? And it's like, ah, oh, you're so sweet. Um, I would say, I would name that's the most romantic thing that he's done for me. There are other, like, kind of romantic-y stuff that he has done for me. But that I think that is the number one top romantic thing that he's done. So... Thank you for your question, Eric Bear. I, pre I enjoy answering your questions. Um, next question. Uh, Fast and Fist Freak asks, um, a super great video, Kiwi. Uh, love the excitement and energy here. Of course, I am the epitome of excitement and energy. I mean, I've, I literally had energy drink here, so I'm in the mood. So, uh, question. If you could visit any country in the world... Well, what would it be and why? Big hugs from the Freakster. Big hugs from the Kiwi. Thank you for your question. Um, if I could visit any country in the world, where, what would it be and why? Hmm. I think you guys already know that answer. Um, I would love to visit America. Because I have so many friends there, and you know the food looked phenomenally great. You know, if if I was slimmer, you know, if I lost weight and I was slimmer, I would probably regain that weight just by visiting America for a month. But it looks, it everything looks amazing. You know, the food, the people, you know, the like, you know, the the estates and all the sightings and whatnot, and. It, and I would love to visit America, and why? Because you guys are awesome, and I love you guys, and I want to hug you all the time, all the time. <laughs> um, but also, I would like to see what you guys get up to, as opposed to what it is in the Great United Kingdom. Um, but yeah, I would love to visit America for months, and then next year, and then like four years later, it's like, oh look, I'm going to come to visit. <laughs> But thank you for your question. I always look forward to Freaky Fridays and Pellerets. So thank you for your question. Uh, Dark Light Dreamer. Hey, dude. Dark Light Dreamer asks, Great Q&A, my friend. Thank you. I tried my best. Um, I could definitely tell you've improved on the la last one. Great work. Thanks. Again, I try my best. Uh, thanks for answering my question. You're welcome. I odd when you said Mark was your hero. <laughs> Most people do, but that's just how I view Mark, really. You know, he is my hero. He will always be my hero, no matter what. So, um, uh, my question for next time. If you had unlimited funds for a day and, and could plan a perfect birthday, what awesome things would you plan for the day? Actually, I, I, when I got this question from you, I actually had to, like, think really difficultly hard. I only had one day to think about this. Um, but I, I got my answer. If I had unlimited funds, um, I mean, if I had unlimited funds, I would just, like, make everybody happy. This guy, the, the, his, his, like, a thousand dollars for you, no, not a thousand, pfft, like, a hundred thousand dollars for you, and a hundred thousand dollars for you, and, you know, this, this, and this, but, um, if I was to plan a perfect birthday, it would be, I would want a birthday where I could go to the great, the great thing of uh, Japan and, you know, see all the sights and whatnot and buy everything that is awesome and <laughs> stuff like that. And I would take you guys, I would take my parents, I would take everyone with me and we can have good food and I can buy you crap. 
and you know it will be just this amazing and then we may may go to an amusement park and you know just chill you know hang and then at the end i want pikachu to serve me a cake and to and jigglypuff to sing sing the happy birthday happy birthday tune like you know Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. Do you know how cool that would be? Just have Pikachu serving me cake and then Jigglypuff singing Happy Birthday to me. That that would just be the epitome of amazing. And then, like, I could, and then, like, having, like, a big donut was, like, stuffed Tokapi that I could just, like, sit and then sleep. Do you know how cool that would be? But as long as I can take you guys, I don't, as long as I can take you guys and my family, you know, that, you know, we could, we could, like, go, like, somewhere simple. You know, like, you know, a restaurant and just, you know, chill out. As long as you guys are there, you know, you guys and Mark and my family, as long as you guys, all of you guys are there, that's pretty much a perfect birthday for me. But if I was to go over-exaggeration, the previous one would, that, that would be that. <laughs> But, um, thank you for your question, Dark Light Dreamer, and again, again, happy birthday, my friend. Um, thank you for your question, I look forward to your next video. Um, Mythos from Fust and Fist, hey dude, uh, says, great video, my friend, I love, I love how your camera presence is developing, you look really comfortable. I am getting comfortable, I'm getting more and more comfortable as I do these Q&As and these videos, because... I, I want to interact with you guys more and stuff like that, so it's it's great. I mean, I feel a lot more comfortable. I feel more like confident in actually making these videos. Um, so thank you. Uh, what what are my top three anime three <laughs> three animes and why? Much love, my friend Wolf Brother Mythos. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your question. Um. My top three animes will have to be Death Note, uh, Kill a Kill, and Tenchi Moyo. Um, Death Note because it's like this crime investigating thing, and you know, imagine how much power you will have here with just the power of using a book to kill criminals. You know, with just a simple description, and then exactly that. You know, they will die, and I love the murder mysteries, I've always have, you know, so Death Note will be one of them. A kill a Kill, I love Kill a Kill, Kill a Kill is, again, this hyperactive, you know, fun show, it has a quite different art styles to most animes. Um, a lot of people don't particularly like Kill a Kill because of the art style, but I like it because it's comedic, it's funny, you know, it's sometimes serious. You know, it's not that series. Serious. Serious. That's the word. Um, it's not that serious. But it's it's like this fun, kind of jumpy, colourful show. And I love it. You know, if I could live in that world, I would. Um, and my third one will be Tenshi Moyao. Because again, it's that comedic, fun. I think it's Tenshi Moyao. It's, it's, yeah, it was Tenshi Moyao. And, you know, like, imagine being him, you know, with, like, all these girls, like, falling in love with you. I, mean, I will probably enjoy that, but that's just me. Um, but, it, again, it's, like, comedic, fun, you know, style of anime that doesn't really get shown that often. So, those are my top three favourite animes. Um, but, that's all the questions I have for, for you today on this Cyber Thursday. Um, if you have any questions, comment down on this particular video, so and then I can get my question, get the questions from here. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Dotted content, and awesomely awesome overviews, and more Q&As. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I enjoyed making, and as always, I will see you in the next study video. Stay plastic!